Now, now once you've scanned your client and can see the distortions and imbalances in their energetic body field, the Nest software then recommends a personalized set of remedies to drink. Now these are drops that are imprinted with information which literally reset their bioenergetic body field. Now we call these infoceuticals. Now at Nest Health, we use imprinted water because it's one of the best ways of correcting the information in the body field. And remember, 99% of the molecules in our body are water, so this makes it by far the best medium to influence the field. And as far as your client can see, they're simply taking drops in a glass of water similar to homeopathy, but what's really happening is that their bodies are being given new bioinformation to correct distortions in their energetic field. Now the imprinted water is really a carrier of information, a carrier wave of energy if you will. Now this happens because water has this very curious property which enables it to store a memory. So when your client drinks it, that information is then picked up by their body field that can then in turn affect their physiology and specifically targeting problem areas that are picked up in the scan. And what's amazing with these safe, non-invasive remedies is that once ingested, they then trigger the body's own innate healing processes, a bit like activating a reset button to get the system back on the right track. Now the information that's encoded into the water works on a deep cellular level. Every single cell that gets sent a new message knows exactly what to do with this new information. And the information then shifts specific physical and emotional issues and removes blockages so that balance can be restored to the body. Literally re-imprinting the body field back to its original blueprint with the exact information that's right for your client. Now it enhances the strength of their body field and it regulates the energy flow of information. Now, thanks to Infoceuticals, I eventually healed my chronic fatigue syndrome after being bedridden and searching for a cure for almost eight whole years. Now, at first I thought imprinted water remedies sounded too good to be true, but after having such an undeniable healing reaction, I knew there had to be something to it. And so I stuck with the experimental protocol that was given to me by the late scientist, Professor Peter Fraser, which we then went on to develop together. And like they say, the rest is history. Arthritis is a disease of information failure in the joints. And now, let me just give you a little bit more history on the water science and how this works. There's been a number of researchers going all the way back to Samuel Hahnemann, who was the father of homeopathy. Now, what he did is he would take a substance and he would then dilute it up until the point there was nothing left apart from the actual information from those substances that was left over in the water. Now, a lot of people poo-pooed homeopathy. One of the ways where you can visibly see whether something has been imprinted with information or not with an infoceutical is you can basically use a technique that was developed by Professor Omoto where he would freeze water samples and then he would look at the crystals that had come off those frozen water samples. And what he found was that the ones that had been imprinted with healthy information had really beautiful, coherent, structured shapes and the ones that hadn't been imprinted were much more chaotic. And what Professor Pollock has been able to show is that water under certain conditions, i.e. when there's lots of minerals present or when it's next to water-loving surfaces, such as you get in normal cellular tissue in the body, is that water has a structure, or if you like, it has crystalline properties. Now, while that matters, is that as soon as you have a structure, you're basically able to record and imprint information into that structure, which is extremely useful when you're trying to transmit information into the body.
So we did experiments and the experiments show that really there is a fourth phase of water. And the fourth phase of water is, is somewhere in between a liquid and a solid. It's a kind of uh, crystalline type of water and there's a lot of it. You know, people have questioned the idea of water memory for good reason. And the good reason is that, is that the studies have shown that H2O, the stuff that's here, that the molecules the molecules are moving around uh, at a very high rate, a uh, femtosecond rate. And so any molecules that are randomly organized and moving around so quickly, it's hard to imagine that it could store any information whatsoever. Okay, but now we've discovered the EZ water, and this EZ water has a crystal-like structure. It's sort of like computer memory. If you think about computer memory, the computer memory is um, basically silicon, silicon dioxide um, atoms arranged in a regular three-dimensional array. This is similar to that. And so there's a possibility that the same principle that's used in computer arrays could be used here. So the possibility exists that this could store information. When we first started working with, with water, and discovering this phase of water. We didn't, of course, at first know, know the structure. And the idea of information in water was something that seemed weird and strange and, you know, maybe possible. But, um, but now, with each passing year and seeing information, experimental evidence, clear experimental evidence that it can exist, it has changed my view a lot. In the late 1980s, Jack Benavista was able to show how he could take a dilution of antibodies and get them to affect white blood cells. And he was doing this again to the point where there was no actual antibodies and all that was left was pure information in water and able to, in turn, affect the white blood cells. What was more incredible was he was not only able to use dilute antibodies to create this effect, he was also able to record the information of the antibodies and then imprint that information back into the water and expose the white blood cells to that imprinted water and those white blood cells to react as though the antibody was present. However, you know, he had a lab of 50 people. He said, there's a corner, go, go sit in the corner and, and do your stuff. And well, pretty soon everybody in the laboratory was curious about what was going on and this fellow was able to demonstrate that this really uh, was the case. And so Jacques being an intellectual and um, having a good experience in immunology, he thought there, this is very interesting. Um, you know, it, it related to homeopathy, but Jacques had nothing to do with homeopathy. He was just a scientist who was interested in what happens, especially at high dilution. So they tried to publish it in Nature. and. Uh, the editor, Sir John Maddox, came back and he said, sorry, no way. He said, if you're right, everybody else is wrong. This experiment has now been repeated by many people and confirmed. So there's no doubt about the authenticity of the result. We're water and the earth is covered with water and water is so central to all of nature, even, even out in the stars. But there's no field of water. <laughs> Odd, crazy. We're trying to change that. But, you know, biology moved from the entire system down to the organelle, to the molecule, to the part of a molecule, and people forgot about the water. And I think they need to restore this uh, information because there's so much evidence that water is so central to everything that the body does. Antibodies and genetic material can be transmitted digitally via imprinted water. Now the Nobel Prize winner, Luc Montagna, he took Jack Benavista's research further and not only showed that you could transmit an antibody digitally, you could also transmit genetic material digitally too. So he was able to record genetic information, then transmit it into a sample of water and had a number of base pairs in it. And then just from the information and the base pairs was able to reconstruct the original genetic strand. The first time I heard uh, about Dr. Montagnier's work, it's just unbelievable. And we believe the key point relies on the structure of the water 
that can actually contain the information. Basically, you have uh, Dr. Mountaineer find a way, you have two glasses of water, and you put something in the first glass of water without physical contact. You put two glasses of water side by side together for a certain amount of time, couple of hours, and then the information starts to transfer from the first glass of water to the second glass of water. To a little bit more detail, he put DNA in the first glass of water, filter it, and dilute it to a point scientifically should be nothing left in the first glass of water. And it stay with the second glass of water for a couple of hours. And then the magic thing happened. Dr. Montagnier is an expert in DNA and virus field. He discovered the HIV for AIDS. So he put a segment of HIV virus in the first glass of water. And later on, he used the second glass of water to do a DNA amplification, pretty much like electronic amplifier. But when there's no signal come in, there should be no signal go out. Noise come in, bigger noise come out. So very, very interestingly, the, the second glass of water after DNA amplification find the exactly same sequence as the DNA Dr. Montagnier put into the first glass of water. And it's been double-blind experiment be conducted. If that experiment really work, that means not only water can talk, communicate, transfer information from one body to the other, they also has to have a memory. And I, I think most of us prefer to rely on pharmaceuticals. You know, the dr drug industry can provide this and that to take care of every conceivable syndrome that you might have. And I have some friends who are taking, you know, dozens of different pills each day. So um, that's one approach. Uh, another approach is to think about natural kinds of aids for, for, for cure. And, and water, I never could imagine 10, 15 years ago that this would be the case, but now I've seen enough evidence that, that certain kinds of waters can actually reverse pathologies. This is the future. So what Peter and I did is we took this gene information idea a little bit further because what really matters when you're trying to heal someone is the particular epigenetic expression because that is what decides which proteins are going to be made to repair particular parts of your body. Now we took this concept further by directly recording the positive expression of epigenetic information of healthy tissue which has since become a breakthrough in non-evasive healing. Now, infoceuticals are really like homeopathy 2.0, where homeopathy is tricking the body by giving it a minute dose of something which indirectly affects the field and triggers a reaction in the person. Whereas infoceuticals take this to the next level, giving the body something that directly links into and corrects the field, allowing it to go back to normal. And I've seen some therapies also uh, presented where, where uh, information is, is actually given or transferred to, to the cells. And some of this seems to have a, a beneficial effect on health. So your cells and my cells are susceptible to information, information that we receive from the outside. I think there's a lot of promise out there. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer when I was 20, which resulted in having to have surgery and they removed all but a fourth of my thyroid gland. I've had to take a uh, synthetic hormone to give me the thyroid hormone that I needed ever since which, you know, I just continued to get sicker and sicker. My husband had to pick me up out of the bed if I had to get up. He had to feed me, set me up in the bed and feed me. They really um, didn't know what to do for that type of, of illness. I was pretty much told that you just kind of had to live with it. I couldn't help her. You know, and no matter what she told me, what hurt or what felt bad or what was happening, I couldn't help her, and neither could anybody else. We didn't think. 
My doctor finally said, Vanessa, you know, I really don't know what to do for you at this point. All I can do is try to give you medicines to make you more comfortable. Uh, she had lost a tremendous amount of weight. She was allergic to almost everything. I was having a lot of trouble finding any foods that I could eat at all, which really resulted in me being so weak. The inside of her mouth was had a lot of sores inside of it. The uh, lips had uh, multiple sores on them, like a cold sore type thing, and her hair was like straw and coming out. The first thing I did was the nest testing. The system is designed to determine areas of distortion in the body field. New information is made available to the body by ingesting drops that have been imprinted with an information pattern. I started her out at the dosing that we would have addressed a child because her energy fields were that weak. So we uh, started out very, very cautiously. One morning I woke up after I had been seeing uh, Deborah probably for uh, a couple of months. And I just had this feeling that I hadn't ever had. And I knew, I knew that, that this was the answer. And I felt so good that I just cried. I just sat up in the middle of my bed and I just cried and cried and cried. In about six months, she reached an energy level of where the body was beginning to transfer message more effectively to where every layer that we went through, she was uh, showing remarkable uh, health changes. Being from a man's standpoint and a southern country boy type person is how I grew up. I first thought it was hocus pocus, you know, and I had my doubts and it took a while. But I see now that it, it's, it's phenomenal. It truly is. I've become healthy enough to what I think is living a normal life again. Because now I can clean my own house. I can cook my meals. I can even work in the yard. I can even wash my car. I can do things that I never thought I would ever be able to do again. It's 180 degrees from where it was. It's just a total turnaround. It really is. I really don't know how to explain the difference in the way I feel. It's like I died and I come back to life. And I never thought that I would ever feel this way again. I got my life back. I got my life back. And it's wonderful. Now what is amazing about imprinted water remedies like the kind that Vanessa used is that they allow the body's energy flow to return to its perfect natural state so its own innate healing intelligence can do what it is designed to do. Now the body's ability to heal itself is a miracle of nature and imprinted water encourages that miracle by helping to activate the body's own healing system on an energetic and cellular level. Every major function of the cell, everything the cell does from contracting and muscles, from dividing, from transmitting information, water is central to all of these processes. And if you, if you don't understand that water is central, if you forget about the water, you'll never get the right answer. Everything becomes so hopelessly complicated. That's where it is today. So I think we have to come back to what we knew 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago, that water was so central to everything and begin to study it in that context. We're on the threshold of an entire new understanding of how disease happens, how information is transferred, and how to enhance information transfer within living systems. There's a vast increase in chronic disease in our community, and I believe using these information uh, methods that we can treat the chronic disease that couldn't be treated before.